would like to welcome you to this gathering to celebrate the 220th anniversary of the founding of Union College through its chartering by the Regents of the State of New York on February 25th, 1795. Uh, but for a period in the 70s when I went to college here, uh, Founders Day had been suspended. So as a student, I never got to attend Founders Day. So for me, this is a really special day. When I read accounts of Union's first years in the 18th century, or the challenges it faced during the American Civil War in the 19th century, or the institutional perils the college faced during the Great Depression and the World Wars of the 20th century, I cannot but help be impressed and inspired by the resilience, the commitment, and the resolve of those who preceded us in stewarding this great institution. At this historic time, as the world faces extraordinary economic, geopolitical, and ideological conflicts, the liberally educated men and women of Union College have another opportunity to distinguish themselves as leaders and innovators as they have so many times over the years. I'm very, very pleased to introduce to you this year's winner of the Gideon Hawley Award, Katerina Tulakos. Um, when I became a teacher, I never wanted to make a student feel surprised that they could achieve something and that they could be better than what a teacher thought they could be. The humanities really best speak for themselves. Art and literature and music do not need me as their interlocutor. Yet the humanities have increasingly found themselves under attack. My role then today might simply be to remind you that the humanities are organically as much a part of who you are, as much as the Mississippi is central to this continent, and as important a critical plot device in the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. I had to work in a Mark Twain reference, you see. Do we really need to explain why poetry, art, philosophy, and theater, and music matter? And 2015 affords us the opportunity to celebrate our continued commitment to the humanities. With the opening of the newly renovated humanities building, we affirm our belief in the importance and the relevance of the humanities to the world today. Yet our commitment to and belief in the enduring value of the humanities extends far into our past, and I am confident it extends far into our future. Yes, we have much to celebrate at Founders Day 2015. And I thank all of you for coming out to celebrate and for braving the cold. Thanks very much.